Hey guys, today we are going to be doing the back side of the second page that we started. This was the last video where we did the um, double flip pocket pages, uh, magnet closures, right? And then it opens up this way, and then there's a pocket here um, with an insert. So we're going to do the back side of this today. Um, in this video, there is going to be a secret code. Uh, somewhere in the video, there will be a secret code. It's going to be really, really hard to find. Um, but if you find it, it's 50% off everything in my shop. So um, if you don't see it the first time around, watch it again and see if you can find it. Um, I do want to tell you not to share it. I don't want you to put it in the comments or anything like that. If you do, I'm just going to have to deactivate the code. So that's kind of not cool. So just, you know, this is supposed to be a fun game. So, but there will be a secret code in this video. Um, again, it's going to be really hard to find. And for those of you who do, you get 50% off everything in my shop. I will link my templates uh, below. I will link my shop below, obviously. Um, I will link the videos for the rest of the um, videos I've already recorded for this everlasting uh, printable mini album template. And um, all of that will be in the description box below. And I'll also link any materials that I use that I can find in the description box below. So <clears throat> if you're new to my channel, um, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell next to um, the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when I upload a video. So, anywho, all right, well, let's just get on to it. Um, we're going to do the back side of this. And I've already figured out what I'm going to do. See, this is what I do. I make myself notes. Like, this was the front side, and this is the back side. That's how I plan my pages out most of the time. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was a weird note. Oh, I know what it was. My... My smallest dog, my oldest dog, and my smallest dog, we have to keep her in the kitchen because she can't, um, she can't see and she can't hear and she doesn't know where she's supposed to use the bathroom. So we have to keep, so she was, she's moving something around down there. She bumps into quite a thing, quite many things. But anyway, so you might hear her on occasion. Uh, and if you do, I apologize. I'll try to edit it out. Sometimes she, she has arthritis and sometimes she'll cry out when she moves. It's really sad. Um, Anyway, so for the back side of this page, I'm going to use page number nine, and it is a pocket, but I'm going to turn it into a pocket flip page. Um, so I'm going to use that part of page number nine, and then um, I'm going to need a blank sheet, just a regular old white sheet of cardstock. The cardstock I'm using, by the way, is just 65 pound cardstock. Um, I'm going to use these two pockets on either side of the flip pocket page. Well, and then I got to thinking, how cool would it be to use like a transparency? Um, there's the insert for the pocket, the flip pocket page, by the way. I'm going to set that aside. So I couldn't decide if I wanted to use just straight up transparency. I printed it directly. Whoa, sorry about the glare. I printed it directly onto the transparency or um, if I wanted to use vellum. So I'm thinking the vellum would look cooler with the look and feel of the book so I printed it onto vellum as well so I'll keep these other two pieces for another project but I just wanted to point that out to you I just thought oh that'd be cool so um so that's we're going to use those two pieces I'm not going to use the banner yet I will be using the banners in in a page coming up but not yet okay so I have a little trick too I want to share that we're going to do too so that'll be coming up in a minute let me let me go ahead so basically you're just going to need three printed off pages and plus the um plus the insert so page number nine and page number 17 and page number 10 is what you're going to need so let me get my paper trimmer out This is a Fiskars Precision paper trimmer. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the belly band off of the page really quick. That, oh, I didn't cut it very well, but that's okay. We're not using it in this page. And then I'm gonna cut the bow off. I love these bows. Let's see, this is bow. What size bow is this? I've got my little, um, I'm thinking this size bow is 
Oh, okay, found it. I'm not 100% certain because I've got them all mixed up, but I'm thinking it's that size. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I think. Or is it? Wait a minute, it might be this one. <laughs> These are close. Yeah, it's this one. These are very close in size. One's just skinnier than the other. But anyway, isn't that cute? Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm gonna put that aside. Okay, so this um, is the main, the flip page that we're gonna attach to the back side of the page we did, this page. So it's gonna be attached right here. And then let's go ahead and trim these out. I'm just gonna do a straight cut. Those banners would be cool. The ones on the vellum, that'd be cool somewhere. I think that'd be neat. Add a little touch of something. Probably won't do the banners until I do the embellishment part of the uh, series here. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate these two. Okay. Let me move this. All right, before I cut anything out, I want to go ahead and score. So I am, there's a reason for this. I'm gonna get my scoreboard out. This is a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard. I went ahead and marked a couple more lines since the last time. Um, and I'm gonna use, not, not that one. I'm gonna use my stylus, if I can find it, to make the score marks here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and score the pocket. So this is the, I'm gonna show you a trick. For this one that's why I want to go ahead and score everything first before I start cutting I, I just thought of it today actually it's one of those things where you're like really why did you not know that why did you not think of that beforehand but such is life live and learn oh I always get off when I look away I always jump out of the track there every time I look up at the camera so I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to score these pieces. I'm going to be a little more gentle so I don't go through the vellum. I don't have vellum tape, but um, it's not going to matter because you're not going to see where it's taped down at because then the pocket, the inside of the pocket will be matted after the fact, after we attach this pocket, which is another little tip. But uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna score this one and then um, I'll be right back. Okay, so everything's scored and I still haven't trimmed it out, notice. Um, and there's a reason for that and that's for this. I'm gonna show you a trick for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put score tape on all three of these flaps just like I would um, if it was ready to go. This is Sue Quain's score tape. These are Tim Holtz scissors tonic scissors okay oops went too far that's okay oops i'm getting off camera too <laughs> okay so i'm gonna put score tape on all of these and i'm gonna go ahead and put score tape on these two so i'm gonna do that and then i'll be right back All right, so I've got tape on all three of these. I know I'm doing this a little backwards, but that's kind of one of my tips that I want to give you guys is that it's a time saver to like go ahead and score everything at the same time. It's a time saver to go ahead and put the score tape on everything at the same time. It's a time saver to trim everything out at the same time. So, you know, instead of having to get stuff in and out, in and out, in and out. So that's why, even though I didn't have to do it for these, um, what I'm about to do with this one, which I'm going to show you. That's why I went ahead and did them. So, but I am, um, I am going to notch these edges over here first. I'm going to cut these little corners out. Right. Just like that. Right. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish. So, what I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tack it down too so that I can go on with it. Oh, you know what? I don't need, do I need this? Hold on just a second. I need that. I need it for a second. 
I'm going to leave this one out like this, actually, because I need that flap. I will need that flap. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, pla a plain, just a plain piece of cardstock, and I'm going to attach it down. Matter of fact, I'm going to just go up here. I'm going to match it up on the corner here. Best I can. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. Right? So I am getting my paper trimmer back out. I'll trim this part off. You know what I should have done? I should have looked through my scraps. I bet you I have a big enough one. I wasn't even thinking. Well, maybe not quite big enough. But I should look through my scraps first. But anyways. And then I'm gonna butt it up next to this line. I'm not gonna cut that line, but I'm gonna cut right next to that line and cut that piece off, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna trim that corner off, trim that corner off. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim, because see now what I've done is I've created a pocket, like a sleeve, right? And so I'm gonna trim both of these out together like this. So instead of when we did this one and we traced out the hoe side and cut it out and attached it, you know, after the fact, instead of doing it that way, this way, I don't have to have that extra step of tracing and I don't have to worry about, um, it not being even because it's, it's you're cutting out you're cutting it out at the same time so kind of like we did the inserts for the front of the page do you see what i'm saying so it's just a little time saver i think and it's it's a quite a nice little tip and don't know why i haven't been doing it all along could you imagine all the time i would have saved but hey live and you learn all right so now we got that so see it's trimmed out perfectly. So now what I'm gonna do is, I think, I need to score, well, let me get this out of the way. I'm gonna take the tape off and I'm gonna bend it inside of this pocket here, just like that, right? Bent, I just tucked it in and I'm gonna burnish it down, just like that, so perfect. So, and the next thing I want to do is I want to just take my scoring tool and just go down that edge. I need to burnish it again. And then I'm going to flip it and squish it. Right? So now I have, I, I don't know if I'm going to go inside like, the, like that or if I'm going to attach it but now I've got my flip page, right? Okay, so before I attach it, I'm gonna ink it up and I'm going to be using, these are Cutter B scissors. I'm going to be using Distress Ink by Tim Holtz and Ground Espresso and a blending tool. And I'm gonna ink up both sides and then, oh yes, before I do that, before I move on to the inking, so let me, I'm gonna cut this out too. Um, just like you would if it was cardstock. Oh, wrong pair of scissors. <laughs> wrong pair of scissors. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim both of these out. Do the edge. Right, I'm gonna do the edges and then I'm also gonna notch these corners and I'm gonna assemble it just like I would any other pocket. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna ink everything up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got both of these vellum pockets inked and ready to go and the ink goes on them beautifully so you don't have to worry about that and I've got this inked on both sides and I got the tape on it and everything. So I'm thinking I shall, I think I should put the pockets on before I attach this to the page here. So. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I need to pay attention to the way 
the direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the backing off of the tape. And, well that's too big for my little garbage bow. And then, oh I better put a little bit of glue stick just to give me a sec. It does make a difference, although it's super hot in here, so, or up here. All right, so I'm gonna flip this around. I'm not gonna go over that uh, score mark for it to fold. Right, oh, oh, no, it's good, I think. I didn't score it very well, but that's okay. Okay, so you see how you can see that, but once the mat gets under there, you're not gonna see it. All right, so flip it over this way, and let's do this side because we'll mat the whole thing and you won't see those. A little bit of glue stick. Flip it over. And, whoa. Okay. So that's ready. Now, did I just put this on upside down? No. <laughs> that's all right. I think I probably did, but don't hold it against me. All right, so let's pull this over. I'm gonna flip it over to the side and then I'm just gonna attach it down. I'm gonna do it on the outside instead of trying to stick it in there. I'm gonna do it on the outside because that will be matted as well. Isn't this cute? This is like a quick little, let me flip it this way. And we'll match the corner up. I don't wanna to go too close to the edge. And then it should be straight and it is wonderful. All right, so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut this out. I'm gonna trim it out. Um, I'm gonna score it down the middle here and I'm gonna ink it up and then I'll be right back. All right, so here's the insert. I've got it inked up on both sides and I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the, um, stick it here in the, pocket. Is it all the way in? Almost. And the reason I'm doing that, I'll tell you in just a minute. <laughs> ah, Uh-oh. Do I have something stuck? Give me something pointy. I think I've got something stuck in there. What am I doing? Okay. Let's try it again. Okay, so there we go, it's all the way in. So I wanted to see how far it was gonna go out. And so since this is gonna be a page, obviously, when you turn the page, I want it to not do that, right? So what I'm thinking about doing is a closure, a ribbon closure to kind of tie it, you know? So um, I'm gonna get some papers. I'm gonna pick out the papers I think I'm gonna mat with, and then we'll go from there. All right. Here is the paper line that I'm using. It is 49 and Market, Sand and Sea. And remember, I'm trying to downplay the whole ocean beach theme. So I think I've found some paper that I like. Let me grab it. I found a few sheets that I like that I think I'm thinking, I'm thinking about putting this one on the pockets um, because it kind of softens this a little bit because this seems really bright compared to the other muted color. So I'm thinking about putting this on the pockets and then, right, I'm thinking about that. And then I'm just deciding whether or not I want to put this over here or this over here. I'm thinking I'm going to do this. I think that's what I'm going to do. Maybe not. Maybe I should do that what's on the back side of this. What about that? Maybe I'll do that. 
trying to make sure I get that little bit of reddish. Maybe I'll do this one. Okay, that's what I'll do. So I was going to use some seam binding to close it up. So I've got a few colors. Blue or green, I think, is what I'm going to go with. Um, I think I'll go with this one. And that color, this is Hug Snug Seam Binding. This is my seam binding storage. It's just a basket I got at the store. Um, and this is Scarab, S-C-A-R-A-B, maybe. And I get my seam binding um, from Zipper Stop, but I will link it um, in Amazon as well, though, in the description box below. But um, anyway, this is what I'm using. So I've already... I've already got some seam binding that I've already crinkled. I like the crinkle better than just the flat. So, um, here's my ring with my blue greens. I think this is it right here, isn't it? I better double check. Yeah. That's it. Oh, I don't want the green, I want the blue. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder. Is that it right there? I just knocked something over. I think this is it. I should have wrote it on the thing. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to get this off. doesn't look like I have very much already crinkled. I might have to crinkle some more. This is how I store my crinkled seam binding. I just use um, the packaging from, like, um, jewelry. You know, like, findings and stuff that you can buy, like, little charms. And I just notch it out like that and wrap it around. So, and then I put it on a big binder clip. And then... I use one of these little clips, and I have these things next to me. They're like slots that were designed, I actually designed it to hold stained glass sheets, like 12 by 12 sheets of stained glass, not 12 by 12, but just random sizes. But now it's holding scrap of paper. But anyway, there's slats in between, and I clip this onto one of the slats. So, very handy. All right. So I think, I'm not gonna put that on yet. I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my mats out. All right, so I need this mat right here for that. And then I need the mat for the pocket, which is on page 30. There we go. And I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I can get two of these pockets on one. I hope so. One. Do you think I can? Let's try. Let's try it and see. I'm gonna have to just trace it and go. Yeah, see, look at that side. It's it's pretty paper, but it just isn't what I was wanting for this album. And I think I've done an excellent job of downplaying it. So we'll see at the end, because I only have a little bit of paper. Remember, uh, a little bit of paper and a few flowers, and that's it. Okay, so then I want to flip it this way because, oh, no. Okay, let me get another sheet. There we go. That sucks. That's stinky Pete. Okay. All right, I'm going to trace another one out upside down because remember, with the curves and things, it matters. Um, your templates, it matters. They're going to fit better if you have them facing the right direction. So I've got those two. And then I'm going to trace this one out, and I'm going to cut them out, I'm going to ink them up, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I've got all of my mats cut out, inked up, ready to go, and I think I'm going to start with the large mat over here, and I'm going to put my seam binding behind it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay my seam binding. Um, I gave myself, a, hopefully, a generous amount. I'm just going to lay it on here. Maybe I better tack it down. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac by Beacon. Um, I'm going to just tack that down for a second, just so it doesn't move. Okay. And then I'm going to put glue all along the back side of here. And that's how we're going to do our closure. Super simple. Put 
you be generous with the glue because of that seam binding. Okay. Whoa. Well, I got the wiggles. Do you remember that show, the wiggles? Okay. Press that down really good. So then when this is closed, we can just tie a bow right here. Yeah. Yes, that indeedy. We sure can. So there. That's a nice little quick closure. Pretty simple. I like it so when we go to flip the page, it's holding it tight. Okay, so let's finish matting. I'm not going to mat the insert, remember. I'm not sure how much paper I'm going to have. So let's go ahead and get these in there. All right, so these mats are going to go underneath that vellum pocket there. So here's what I'm going to do. Going to be very careful. And I'm going to hold that up and I'm going to slide this in. Try to be as careful as I can. Like that. And then move it up a little bit. Yes, that looks good. I like it. It looks like two different colors cardstock. So I don't have inserts for this yet either because, again, I've got all these scraps from cutting things down. I'm going to make my own um, embellishments, so I might as well make some of my own, like, tag inserts or something for pockets like these, for little pockets. Okay, so let's get this one in. I did already make sure that I had them facing the right way so that it would fit. This is so cute. This is so simple. Or such an easy, maybe not simple, but an easy cute little interactive addition to the mini album page. I like it. All right, let me flip it around this way. Hold the vellum page up. And slide it down. Oh, I have to get my fingers gluey. Did I already tell you how hot it is here? Holy moly. It's so hot up here in my studio. You know, heat rises. Yep, because I'm upstairs in a studio loft. So, right. So then, let's tie it up. I think I'm just going to leave that excess uh, seam binding on there for now. Um, you never know what I might do, but that is cute. That's it. That's all there is to it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I like it. I think it's so cool. Add an additional little flip pocket page. Oops, that one didn't go all the way down. I'm going to have to mat these inserts with something because they're, this paper is so flimsy that it doesn't want to, um, it doesn't want to go down. I know that's not far enough. So I'm going to have to come up with a solution for my inserts. It's not stiff enough to go through the tight corner there. There. Got it. <laughs> All right. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. And did you find the secret code? Uh-huh. Did you? Um, don't share it if you did. And if you did, it's good for 50% off everything in my shop. So, um... Anyway, if you didn't find it, go back and see if you can find it. Uh, go watch it again, see if you can find it. It's very hard. It's not um, an easy thing to do. And I forgot to mention earlier, it's only good for the day this video goes public. So the day I upload this video to YouTube and make it public, it'll be good from midnight to midnight. So a 24 hour time period. So that's why it's important to hit that bell up next to the subscribe button so you know when I upload. So it's only good for that one day and it's just meant to be fun. So I don't want anybody to get upset um, over it. And don't forget, don't share it because I will have to deactivate it if you put it in the comments below if you happen to find it. Again, very hard to find. So um, anyway, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Be sure to leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button over here and check out these other videos that are on the screen and I'll see you next time.
Bye.